Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a very long time since you've last seen me on this channel. I've still been active on TikTok, and then I did the podcast, Shoujo's Bizarre Adventure, with my friend Stella Luna, and uh, I just started a brand new channel. So if you like rhythm games, you can follow me on Miss Combos with Laura Newsets, so you can get all your Project Sekai and rhythm game content there. But in this channel, I will be continuing my manga-related content. So yeah, a lot has happened and there's still a lot that is like floating in the air. So let's see. Um, I quit my full-time job. I could not handle it anymore. So I no longer work in the licensed apparel, you know, business. Things got really hectic, I will say. Um, and apart from that, like when I was still commuting to work, that was pretty much like I would be gone from home like 13 hours a day. Uh, it was a very long commute with traffic and everything. My life just became uh, <laughs> very much something that I was not very happy with. And it became very hard to like, you know, manage TikTok and YouTube and streaming and all these things and the podcast plus commuting to a full time job. So it it was just a lot. So yeah, I left that job. It just got very toxic and stressful and uh, I just needed to get out. So I have left that job. I will be focusing on content creation for the month of July. <laughs> so one of my goals is to move out by the end of the year. And I am trying to look for a place outside of California because it, things in California are too expensive. So yeah, that's where I've been, that's what I've been dealing with. Like I just want to have my own space where it's quiet. I have my designated filming area. You haven't seen like my manga collection in such a long time because of the noise. <laughs> but once I get situated, I hopefully will have more you know, more content going on. Uh, I will still try to upload at least once a week in this channel. You might get more posts on my Missed Combos channel just because it's easier to film like rhythm game content. Plus there's a lot of more noise to mask <laughs> the noise outside. <laughs> but yeah, that is pretty much it for like my life update. It's just a lot of things changing at once. I will be having some San Diego Comic Con content coming in a few weeks, so that won't be changing. I will be vlogging and all that stuff, so it should be fun. And I think after that, like, I need to catch up on a lot of manga. I need to <laughs> reorganize as well, because holy crap, I have like piles of manga everywhere. And I'm just about to film another like PR manga unboxing, so more manga is <laughs> too bad. <laughs> Yesterday I stepped foot inside a Barnes and Noble for the first time in like a month and a half. I literally went inside and I was just like, what am I doing here? Like there's just so much. I remember like honestly having to like beg publishers for like more shoujo and more romance and more BL and now we're getting all of that and I'm just like <laughs> like I can't afford everything it's so much which is great but at the same time it is overwhelming like I honestly even forgot like where I left off in some of the series that I'm reading I ended up buying like a duplicate of a sign of affection volume 8 because I didn't remember I bought it back in May so I need to go back and return it, but yeah, it's just, it's gotten to that point. So I definitely need to like, probably not tear everything down just because I did do a massive like reorganizing spree like a uh, back in, I think, April, I think I did. Cause they got like a new bookshelf that's rotating. It's really nice and it fits a lot. So I don't think I need to like take everything down, but I definitely reorganize and make sure everything is tidy and make a list of the series that I actually want to like, you know, <laughs> continue. And I also have like a pile of manga that I need to sell as well. Once I also get closer to like moving out, since I'll have to pack everything. <laughs> another thing that I'm just like oh I have so much to pack but I mean 
that will come at a later date but yeah i think maybe once i like actually take everything down i'll be able to like look at my collection and be like hey maybe this one that has like 30 plus volumes and i only have like four maybe i should like part ways with it <laughs> I don't know, that's my logic. And if you're thinking Yona of the Dawn, like that's, that one has been like a pain. <laughs> I just need omnibuses. <laughs> this, I need Yona of the Dawn omnibuses, please make it easier to collect. <laughs> but yeah, that's where I've been. That's my life update. Wasn't that interesting if I'm being honest, but yeah, I'm just, you know, trying to get this situation sorted i do want to take content creation and streaming more seriously but at the same time like at the same time it's just challenging when you don't really have the proper space to you know actually film stuff without people bothering you so, but i'm gonna end this here you will be seeing me very soon with the manga PR unboxing. I also do want to film weekly reading updates. I think those would be a lot easier for me to film as well as for you to watch instead of me filming like here's everything I read for the month and then having to like react to 30 volumes or something like that. <laughs> so I do want to do weekly reading updates and also film reviews here and there as well. I think this channel might become more manga review oriented with the occasional vlog here and there. Uh, let me know how you guys have been doing. I apologize for the lack of videos in this channel for like almost a year. I am hoping, like my hope is to become more consistent here as well as like on every other platform. I will be seeing you guys very soon in my next video. Take care. Bye.